Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your Windows 11 voice access is not working. Now, there are a couple of steps which you can go ahead and try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step is to go ahead and check your internet connection. So, in order to um, get this functionality working, you will have to have a active internet connection or your computer needs to be connected to the internet. So, before you try any step, uh, make sure your computer is connected to the internet and you have a good stable internet connection. So once it is done, you can try to check if your voice access is working in case if you're facing a problem. The next step, uh, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and make sure your microphone is working correctly. Now you can run a couple of steps or test to check if your microphone is working correctly one thing what you can do is you can go ahead and uh, connect if you have an uh, additional or a spare microphone or a headset you can try disconnecting um, the one which has been connected or connecting the external one with that you can help with that it will help you to identify if your microphone is working correctly another step is to uh, do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you may go ahead and click on system once you're on the system on the right hand side you may go ahead and click on sound and under sound section you may go ahead and look for the input device under input device choose the microphone which has been connected since i have two uh, microphone connected i have these option enabled here so select the one where the microphone has been connected so if you have more than one um, you don't have to worry go ahead with the one which has been highlighted with blue color click on this arrow under this section, you have an option called start the test. So select start test and talk or play audio at your normal volume for least few seconds and then select stop test. And, um, and then it click on play. That will help you to identify if your microphone is been working correctly or functioning properly. So this is one step. The next step, uh, in case once it has been, uh, once you have made sure that your microphone is working correctly, the next step is to go ahead and disable the Windows speech recognition. So to do this, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings again. Once you are on the settings page, you will have to go ahead and look for accessibility. On the left hand side under accessibility uh, look for speech under speech you will have to make sure the window speech recognition is been turned off so in case it is been enabled you may go ahead and turn off the window speech recognition so one, that once that is done um, you may close this window and check if your uh, if the issue has been resolved in case if if the issue still persists as a next step uh, i would go ahead and suggest a couple of the uh, voice typing services so to check these services you will have to do a right click on the start button and uh, click on run or you can press windows and r key simultaneously in the run window you may go ahead and type services.msc click on ok now under this section you will have to look for agent activation runtime so you will have to do a right click and click on restart so basically what you're doing is you are going ahead and restarting the services and if the services is not running um, you would see an option to click on start so uh, you you can go ahead and click on start and then click on restart so once it is done uh, the next services you will have to look for is human interface device service so it would be in alphabetical order either you can go ahead and type uh, hu in your keyboard keyboard and that will take you to the human interface device services you can do a right click and click on restart if the services is not started you may go ahead and click on start and then click on restart once it is done the next service uh, you will have to look for is windows audio endpoint builder again go with an alphabetical order it is w so do a right click and click on restart services in case if the service is not started you may click on start and then click on restart 
So most of the time, these services will be started. You don't have to worry. Um, there are rate scenario that these services will be stopped. So you can go ahead and do a right click and click on Start Services. Once it is done, restart the computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, you don't have to try the next step. Uh, now, the next step is to make sure you have enabled your microphone access uh, to the uh, under the app permission so to do this um, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button then click on settings once you're on the settings page uh, you will have to go ahead and click on privacy and security under privacy and security you will have to look for microphone under apps and permission now under this section you can click on microphone now here, make sure um, the let apps access your microphone is been enabled. So microphone access, this needs to be enabled. And at the same time, let apps access your microphone option needs to be enabled on the computer. So after trying all the steps, see if your uh, issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been not resolved, as a next step, you can download the supported language for voice access, which are available on the Microsoft website. Um, and see if your issue has been resolved. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.